na-mention niyo po kanina na in sad cases, tinatanggal na po yung mata ng bata. Meron po bang mga paraan ng operation na yung mismong tumor lang yung tatanggalin, hindi natanggal, uh, natanggalin yung mata? Yes, there, there, there has been a... It has been tried in the past with varying success. Sometimes you uh, have resection, pero mm. ma malaking chance na mag-spread po. There's also external beam radiation, mm -hmm. which you can help. You spare the eye. And uh, it has been, it has been, uh, it's just had varying success. But so far, the most promising are the two that I've mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yung intra, intra arterial catheterization and uh, intra vitreal uh, chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Dok, ano po yun, kapag yung intra arterial, tinutunaw po ba nun yung tumor? No, or... it's a chemo, it's a chemo, oh. chemo drug mm -hmm. that's injected into the... It's a femoral artery, but it goes all the way to the ophthalmic ah, through, uh, mm. through catheterization. Para po kayo nagpa-ano? Para po kayo nagpa-angiogram uh, sa puso, only mm. instead of going to the heart, it goes to the ophthalmic artery. Mm -hmm. So, hindi po matatanggal yung tumor doon? Mamamatay lang po yung cancer? Ganun po ba yun? Well, yeah. Uh, pag namatay ko yung cancer cells, oh, well. the tumor oh, will regress. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, ayun, babantayin lang muna yung tinatawag na vitreous seeding, no? Mm -hmm. Yung vitreous gel po yung nasa labo na mata yun, pag may makita tayo mga fluffy white lesions there, it's assumed to be vitreous seeding. Mm -hmm. So, pag nangyari naman po yun, uh, pwede po siya injection na ng uh, chemotherapeutic agent inside the eye. Mm -hmm. uh, that I do every day, pero not, not for cancer, but for other diseases like uh, age-related macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy. Mm -hmm. Yun po, yung po, injection lang po sa mata po yun, mm. yung isa. Pero kailangan po, yung track ay finifreeze ng ice. Mm -mm. Pero to, Dok, yung post-treatment naman po, paano po inaalagaan ng mga patients po yung kanilang eyes after po nun? Doon po sa mga nakarecover na hindi po natanggalan po ng... Well, uh, surveillance. Uh, Iksabihan, uh, repeated eye examinations, mm. uh, and then of course, mga systemic review kung may mga ibang nararamdaman, no? Uh, other imaging, because the most common spread is through the optic nerve, mm -hmm, and essentially mm -hmm. it can go to the spine and to the brain. Mm -hmm. So, ba matayin huyo rin yan with imaging. Okay, mm. okay. Mm -hmm. Doc, my question, oh, yung pag yung may mga cases po ba na ako nari po yun, yun nga tinanggal na yung yung mata. After po nun, pwede pa siyang madonatean ng eye. After po nung no, uh, ay, no, na. because uh, the there is no such thing as uh, an eye transplant. What you've been hearing is actually corneal transplant. Oh, okay. Yung corneal transplant, yung pinaka disc, uh, well, yung glass-like tissue in front of the eye. Yes. yes. Pedi po yun idon. Uh, pedi ho makatanggap ng donor yon at pedi yung kayo tayo. Kung mm. if we're golden-hearted, no, we can yes. actually donate our own eyes. When you pass away, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you pass away, yeah. uh, and then you can. Uh, So if people have a corneal scar or corneal leukoma or other diseases, pwede ipagpalit po, no? My cornea against someone na may corneal scar, corneal opacity. Uh -huh. Yun po ang nag-work. And it's the most successful organ transplant in the world, no? In corneal transplant. Kasi relatively avascular po siya. So wala masyadong uh, rejection. Although it happens, pero... Still, the batting average is at the highest okay. among all types of corneal of uh, organ transplants. When it, when we talk about surveillance, I'm gonna go back on that topic. Na yung surveillance natin. Gaano katagal na masasabi mong okay na po yung bata? Wala na pong nag-spread na cancer dun sa ibang bahagi ng uh, part po ng katawan niya, like the brain, the spinal cord, as you mentioned. Oh, oh nga po, mga highly unlikely na po na if they reach to be about six or seven years old, okay na babalik. Yun. Okay, nopo. Okay, we couldn't let our, you know, yes. uh, our, our, our hands down, no? mm -hmm. uh, our guards down. Kung mga yari, mga yari, puyon, no? oh, as in all types of cancer. Mm -hmm. So kana lang. Siguro the the uh, evaluation is much less frequent mm -hmm. than before. Mm -hmm. But I'm not an oncologist, so I don't know the exact scheduling. Pero the principle is there, no? Uh, mm -hmm. Pag bago nakahinga na ng konte. Pwede mas less na yung hospital visits. Okay, okay. And they can live a normal life naman after that one. Within well, one eye lang naman eh. One eye yung matanggal sa kanila. So, well, yeah. Kung, kung, kung yun po ang gagawin, no? But if mm. kung halimbawa nag-manage uh, tayo ng uh, vision or eye sparing procedure mm -hmm. like the one I mentioned, mm -hmm. 
the patient can actually live with both eyes or both seeing eyes. Okay. So that's the light at the end of the tunnel po ngayon. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So, ang wish ko lang na ma-develop itong technique na to sa ating bansa po. No? Ayaw. It will entail a lot of money and investment and What expertise. technique are we using right now dito po sa Pilipinas? To be, to be, <laughs> ano, no? to be frank, yes, most of us are traditionalists kasi nga, the tried and tested is uh, inoculation, chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. the, new, new, the new methods I mentioned are not yet being practiced. Uh, ano po, no? mm -hmm. And when you think about it, not too many ophthalmologists want to handle oh, <laughs> Myself yeah, included, yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> want yes. to handle this. So I leave it up to my colleagues who have trained abroad, mm -hmm. who know this more than I. Uh, to handle these cases. Okay. So, mm. what is the worst that will happen naman po? Kapag naman po, hindi na patreat ng isang magulang, like for example, syempre, walang kakayahan na makapagbaya dun sa the, mga chemo sessions the, nila. The patient no? can die. Okay. Oh. It's, a, it's a malignant tumor. If uh -huh. it spreads, then it's, it spreads like all cancers to the rest of the body and cause organ failure. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yun ba? I don't know. nakita na, and if, let's say, the most uh, obvious is you take out the eye, they make that yeah. decision. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Pero dok, sa adults po, nagkakaroon din po ba ng red? Uh, uh, or iba na po yung tawag? It, it, uh, uh, highly unlikely, kasi yeah. nga, it's a very aggressive tumor. It mm. happens in the young. It will be na it's either a recurrent mm -mm. tumor or it's a different type of tumor, you know, na, na choroidal tumor, uh, which is uh, one of the differential diagnoses. Pero the retinoblastoma itself, typically, happens in the young. Hmm. Hindi siya na-diagnose, like for example, pag buntis ka. Kasi di ba meron tayong tinatawag na congenital anomalies ka, no? Mm -hmm. Sa mga tiyan ng magulang. Pero doon hindi mo malalaman mm -hmm. kung may eye cancer yung baby mo. Oh, Unless uh, nailabas mo na siya. Uh, you, 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 ask a very, you, know, you ask a very interesting question. Yes po. And I, I Kasi di ba sa CAS, pag mga 5 uh, yeah. months na nagpapa-CAS yeah. yung mga magulang. And na, I have to say, I have to do my reading on that. Uh, <laughs> oh, kasi okay. una, una it has to be a very uh, sophisticated uh, imaging method mm -hmm. yes, na para ma-isolate mo yung eye. Opo. Oh, eh, napaka nasa loob napaka po siya, no? Ha? Nasa, nasa loob po. Oh, oh, It'll be very hard, no? Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, there's always an index of suspicion, lalo na kung yung parents niya, or one parent, has had retinoblastoma. Mm -hmm. Which is another topic, no? Pag mayroon tayong pasyente, kailangan natin examinin yung kapatid. Kailangan natin i-genetic counseling yung tatay or nanay. Oh. Kasi, you know, but for all we know, they are carrying the genes. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, and then, uh, maybe future children will be at risk. Or, the child of the patient suffering from retinoblastoma, when they grow up, they are putting their future um, offsprings at risk of having that, that disease mm -hmm, also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, again, hindi ko alam kung sino yung magagaling na genetic counseling here mm -hmm. in the Philippines. So, mm -hmm. uh, Sorry, <laughs> hindi ko alam talaga eh. So, I have to ask my colleagues no, who, who does all these things. Okay. Yun pala napakaganda rin, interesting din malaman natin to, di ba? Especially din sa mga nanay, hindi pala nila alam kung bakit nagkakaroon ng white, yung mga mata ng mga oh, anak nila. They have to immediately go yeah, to an eye doctor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me just give you some, ano, no, some mm -hmm. things that yes, uh, can mimic retinoblastoma based on a white pupil. It could be a cataract. Mm -hmm. If it's a cataract, well, ang, ang, ang tapat ang go-to mode natin, punta kayo sa doktor ng ophthalmologist. Yes. Because we'll find out, no? We know what a cataract looks like. We know what a retinoblastoma looks like. We know what an ROP looks like. Yung ROP, it's another differential. Okay, no? okay. I, I, might, I think I might have discussed it in mm -hmm. my previous mm -hmm. guesting. Eh. Yung ret it's, it's now a retinal detachment caused about by the prematurity of the child. No? Okay. Oh. They can mimic each other, pero... Um, ma mas maganda makita talaga ng doktor.